Hello my friends. The topic I'm going to focus in this short video is uterine fibroids. Also known as myomas, fibroids are the most common benign tumors that can affect women. And uh, to understand the variety and intensity of symptoms, it's important to know how these tumors are classified according to their location in the uterine wall. This is a frontal view of the uterus. Here are the outlets of the fallopian tubes and down here we see the cervix. The external surface of the uterus is covered by a serous membrane also known as peritoneum and this soft mucosal lining that we see here in the uterine cavity is the endometrium. Now let's explore the navigation bar and press the first button. What we see. Uh, if the tumor grows near the external surface of the uterus, just beneath the serous membrane, we call it a subserous myoma or subserous fibroid. And uh, if the tumor grows towards the cavity of the uterus, protruding the mucosal lining, we call it a submucosal myoma or submucosal fibroid. And uh, finally, if the tumor grows within the muscular wall, we call it intramural fibroid or intramural myoma. There's uh, an observation to be made about tumors that grow near the internal or external surface of the uterus. They may eventually detach from the body of the uterus and get suspended by a peduncle. And uh, when the origin is in the uterine cavity, the peduncle may stretch until the tumor is literally expelled through the cervix towards the vagina, like this. Uh, now let's talk about some symptoms of the woman with uterine fibroids. All of these tumors may cause some degree of abdominal discomfort. In case of a subserous tumor like this one, it's easy to understand that if it grows towards the bladder wall it can cause urinary symptoms such as pain or increase the frequency of urination and infections. Now when the tumor progresses towards the cavity of the uterus it causes a protrusion of the endometrium that can lead to bleeding between periods, cramps, abortion and even fetal deformities because of the shortage of space within the uterus. Uh, another important consequence is infertility and it occurs when the tumor grows near the fallopian tubes outlets here and here, reducing the lumen of the tubes and impeding the passage of both sperm and ovum. And uh, this type of tumor, the pedunculated one, may undergo torsion of the peduncle and cause intense pain and even necrosis due to the subsequent blockage of its blood supply by the twist. So in a few minutes we were able to understand what are uterine fibroids, how they are classified according to their location and which are the main complications of each one. My name is Emmys Prado Jr. and I am a medical doctor and an artist and this interactive digital animation was made by me. You can find more interesting medical themes like this one in my personal website. I hope I could have helped you to clarify your doubts about this important medical issue on women's health. Thank you very very much for your attention.